Hey there, Happy Garage. Seeing as you liked my video earlier today, I thought I'd do another one. So I'm going to replace valve stem seals on this 1968 Chevy 350. Uh, to do this on the car, you're going to need a on-car valve spring compressor as such. They're uh, pretty simple little tools. They do take two hands to use. That's why it looks like that. Uh, you do need some rope. Uh, if you don't have a compressor or if you don't want to use a compressor. So it's kind of an old timer trick, right? You, uh, you make sure the piston is about halfway down in the cylinder and then you feed rope into the spark plug hole. And then all you do is rotate the engine until the, uh, the piston comes up and hits that rope. The engine will stop. Like you won't be able to rotate it that, that, so it's going to come to a, a pretty dead stop and that will keep the valves from dropping into the cylinder so once you have uh, everything set up you're going to need your your magnet to get those keepers out like so and like i said i did the two-handed bits already so dun, da, da, da. Keepers are out. Uh, and this is a little bit staged. Yes, I already, already took that out. So that was on there. And I took the umbrella seal out. Get your umbrellas out, folks. So, and this, this engine is so weird. It, it took me forever to figure out what somebody had done. I, I mean, they, they added these other type of seals which i almost bought these type so it's almost they advertise them as some sort of upgrade but they didn't they didn't hold up at all they're all of them on this side are just completely shredded i'm sure they're the same on the other side the only one you see that one's shredded but i i did have to maneuver that out so once you have your old seal off you get your new Umbrella seal. Slide it over the valve, and it it will uh, it'll go over that. So these actually r ride towards the top of the valve, kind of like right under this uh, this plate. But you can press it all the way down. It'll it'll make it, its way back up. So once you've done that, you get your Bring back. You don't have to take anything out. And you carefully put your little keepers back in, like so. Swiggle that around. Last one. Ba -ba -da -dum. So. And the, the keepers ride in a groove, so they they do pretty much fall in place. There are those who like to, to grease them, and that does help them stick, but uh, not completely necessary. So once both your keepers are back, you'll release the spring tension and move on with your job or life or whatever you're doing. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I guess I will... Speak to you again next time when I'm doing something else. Thank you, guys.